Uh, the clock is certainly ticking fast toward 2021, but just as fast as some celebrations will soon begin, uh, some local leaders are trying to dial back the party. And 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter right now is live near the Fremont Street Experience tonight. And Austin certainly fears over the potential crowds there were a big topic at today's COVID-19 task force meeting. Yeah, Todd, it sure was, and a lot of that discussion involved thinking about could folks just end up showing up here to downtown Las Vegas and Fremont Street regardless of any of the New Year's Eve restrictions. And during that meeting today, I got to tell you, tensions definitely ran high. Take a listen. This is Marilyn. I, I hate to put you on the spot, but um, it's been a long morning, but I'm going to ask that there be no light show so that people don't come and I'm going to ask that the 14,000 be cut in half. Calls for action amid major concern that the Fremont Street experience could turn into a COVID-19 hotspot on New Year's Eve during Tuesday's COVID-19 task force meeting. You know, frankly, uh, is not a good idea to gather that many people in that uh, confined of a space. Uh, for that period of time. The task force says they've received calls from people working the event that are concerned about the large crowd size. The Fremont Street experience says face masks and social distancing are required. Signs will be in place to remind attendees. There will also be a $25 security fee required to enter under the canopy. Is in order to offset the cost of the extra Metro officers that are going to be there. Their website also does not say what the capacity limits are that night. The city of Las Vegas says there is a lot of misunderstanding about the New Year's Eve plans on Fremont. They reiterate that no quote event is planned as there will be no special performances. They added that the Fremont Street experience is a public mall and the public will have access as they do on any night, but just with a fee for New Year's Eve. Nevada's COVID-19 response director Caleb Cage voicing his concerns. The city has worked very hard in order to skirt the spirit and the letter of the directives as they are written in order to protect us. While no live entertainment will happen on Fremont Street that night, the nearby Plaza Hotel and Casino will be holding a fireworks show that will likely bring folks to the downtown area. They're looking at something that will attract, you know, literally thousands of people down there, uh, Caleb, and we're quite concerned about that. All right, so back to what Commissioner Kirkpatrick brought up about that light show. Will that still go on and will her request for that occupancy to be brought down? Will that be fulfilled? Well, it will be a waiting game on that. Director Cage said uh, that they could not decide on that right now as it was not an agenda item for today's meeting. I also reached out to the Fremont Street Experience to get any sort of reaction from them on today's COVID-19 task force meeting. But I'm still waiting to hear back. We're going to stay on top of the story for you. I'm Austin Carter reporting live tonight in downtown Las Vegas for 13 Action News. Becoming a bigger and bigger issue. Thank you, Austin, for that. In the meantime, in a statement, Governor Steve Sisolak is urging people to reconsider going out for New Year's Eve, saying in part, well, think of Nevada's health care workers who will be caring for COVID-19 patients, our family members, and our neighbors who are struggling to breathe and make it through the night.